Thank you, uh, Fred. Uh, it's, it's my uh, uh, privilege to be here on behalf of this legislation. I want to thank uh, Senator Laval for his sponsorship. Uh, I'm a co-sponsor of this legislation, uh, which has passed uh, in the Senate uh, previously, uh, and I fully expect uh, that it will be passed again uh, this year. Uh, as it has been said, uh, this is about the victim, uh, and it's about, uh, in these most egregious cases, which we'll hear some facts on, it's about the victim's family that has to relive this nightmare every other year, going through the parole process, which is not right, uh, it's not fair, and it's truly reliving of a nightmare and the worst moments of their lives over and over and over again. And this law simply provides the discretion to the parole uh, to put off the hearings uh, to five years rather than every other year. Uh, so uh, I'm proud to stand here today. I'm really looking forward to hearing from the families. I want to thank the assembly members that are here in helping with their efforts to get this bill to move uh, in the assembly, uh, which is often a roadblock to uh, legislation of this type that uh, uh, seeks to protect uh, victims uh, and not coddle criminals. Uh, we are here today to send a strong message, uh, and I too want to thank the media for their being here, uh, their attention uh, to this important issue, and helping relieve uh, some of the stress uh, and anxiety that these families uh, that are with us today and many others across the state uh, go through needlessly every other year. Thank you. Thank you all for be being here, especially the members of the media. Um, we need your help on this uh, to get out the stories of, of these family members, of the lives lost. Um, I do want to thank Assemblyman Thiel for his leadership on this issue and Senator Lavelle in the Senate um, and certainly Senator, my colleague, Senator Tom O'Mara, also joined by Assemblyman Joe Gillia, who's the ranker on the Corrections Committee. Uh, the fact of the matter is um, we need to pass this law. Uh, it is not fair that families have to go through this ordeal, reliving this tragedy every 24 months. And I will add from my conversations with the Roby family, who are constituents of mine and Senator O'Mara, it's not just 24 months because they have to start preparing for the parole hearings months and months in advance to make sure the parole board uh, has all the information and to rebring this information back over again. It's simply wrong. Uh, we need to start caring and thinking about uh, the victims and the victims' families. And that's why uh, I can't thank you enough, the family members who have made this trip here, uh, to share your story, to put your face and your name on a piece of legislation because we have thousands of bills that come through this house. But when you hear these stories, it's going to humanize this issue. And we hope with the help of you and the media and our colleagues in the legislature, uh, we can do the right thing and pass this legislation. So I appreciate the opportunity to be a part of, of this coalition to, to work on this legislation. And again, Assemblyman Thiel, thank you for your leadership very much. Appreciate it. So I'll see if I can get through this. Uh, I'm speaking to you today on behalf of my son, Derek Roby, who was murdered in 1993. And for all other families that deal with parole like ours every two years, I am in support of this bill. Uh, this bill, again, would allow 24 to 60 months, an option for time allowed between parole. With current laws in place, families such as ours relive every two years the heartache of our loss. We had no idea when this happened uh, to us a few short years ago that uh, we would be meeting every two years uh, to speak against parole. I mean, all those new laws and things that came into our lives, we had no idea about. Us, though, like most families, will still meet with the parole board to let them know that parole should be denied. But having five years between hearings would help take some of that hurt away. This needs to be an option. I also feel sympathy for everyone that supports us every two years. Uh, it's hard to ask for their support, uh, even though it's given freely. Our supporters relive the tragedy every two years. I don't feel that is fair to them or the community in which these crimes have happened. I ask for your support of this bill 
uh, reach out to whoever you can and let them know it needs to happen. Um, the loss of life will continue, but supporting those left behind is something we can change for the better. <clears throat> my, <clears throat> my, <clears throat> My son cannot be a part of my life. Okay. And those that commit these types of crimes need not have the opportunity to join our society every two years. Uh, I thank you for being here to learn of this bill, as all I do is in memory of my son, Derek and hopefully others that have to deal with this now and unfortunately in the future. Um, and I do have a little picture here, so if any of you want to zoom in, it says, please do this for me. Did I say anything? <laughs> so as the mama, um, it, when you lose anybody, uh, there's a lot of stages that you go through with grief. However, our stage has a skip in it, and every two years we have to relive the fact that our son was um, lured into a wooded area, um, pummeled with rocks after he was strangled, and the rocks were as heavy as he was. And then he was sodomized with a branch from a tree. So every two years, I get to pull all of that back up again. And everything that I've squelched and healed over for a year and a half is gone. So this really is not fair to these families. It's not fair to our communities. It's not fair to our families and friends, and even strangers that write letters for us. Uh, people can't believe that, you know, you've just done this, and it's been a year and a half. But we do spend many months getting support and letters from people. Dale does videos where he has to go back through all of Derek's videos and puts it to music to take it to uh, the commissioner. Um, it's really life-changing every two years. So thank you.